Fields now about our weather out there. I like the cool down. Open yes. up the windows, right? Yeah, yeah. Breeze in. Like a 13 degree cool down between yesterday Beautiful. and today. And you can see from the shot behind us how foggy it is out there. And it's going to really remain that way over the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. A return of the marine layer, low clouds and fog for us here in the Los Angeles area. Let's go up to Stu Mundell in Sky 9. He's out over uh, Van Nuys at this hour. And we're just getting the tail end of a beautiful sunset in Southern California. A little bit of residual cloud cover left over from uh, the tail end of this trough of low pressure that's exiting out as we speak. The center of circulation is far to the north, up over the San Francisco Bay Area, or just south of San Francisco at this hour. But we are seeing a little wraparound flow, and even still a threat of a thunderstorm in the forecast, certainly for some of the mountain communities, and we'll talk about all that here in just a second. Downtown currently sitting at 65, along with Oxnard, Van Nuys at 62, 72 in Riverside, Van Nuys at 73, where we just had that live shot from, and Fullerton now at 70 after hitting a daytime high today, uh, much cooler than yesterday, 13 degrees cooler than yesterday, 73 officially. Uh, outside right now downtown. So night through morning, low clouds and fog return to Southern California. We had that little storm action and, and some light spritz yesterday and that evacuated some of the low clouds and fog deep morning marine layer otherwise quiet for us here in the Los Angeles area. We do have another chance at mountain thunderstorms coming our way by Friday. So we had hazy conditions throughout much of the day today after we cleared out from a, a morning of very cloudy skies. There's the center circulation for our low. It has moved up to the north and east will continue to move off as that low exits off. We want to check out the tropics and see what's going on. We've got another uh, system brewing has not been named yet. It's not quite uh, an organized system just yet. They're calling it 3E, but it looks like Friday by about 5 p.m. This could become a hurricane with sustained winds at about 75 miles an hour. Right now it's on a beeline right toward the Baja Peninsula. And you may remember from Blanca uh, as it hit the Baja Peninsula, we got a copious amount of moisture out of that and it brought us that uh, light rain yesterday. So we might see something out of this new one, 3E, not yet named. Cloudy skies overnight tonight, 62 for the low. Let's talk about some of tomorrow's daytime highs. Uh, upper 60s uh, and near 70 for coastal communities from Oxnard to Santa Monica, 74 for Torrance. Mid 80s through Simi, Northridge, San Fernando, upper 70s for Pasadena, Alhambra at 80 for a daytime high tomorrow. More upper 70s for Burbank, El Monte, La Puente, 83 for Chino and Ontario, 84 for Norco. And then out toward the IE, a lot of mid 80 degree numbers. San Bernardino at 84, same for Riverside, Palm Springs, a triple digit day tomorrow. Here comes your seven day forecast for downtown Los Angeles. We're going to start the morning out very cloudy again. 75 tomorrow for the daytime high. Friday, partly cloudy skies, 75 as well. We're talking mid and upper 70s by the weekend with better clearing. Valleys 83 tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. Better clearing Friday through the weekend. Upper 80s. Going to be a really nice weekend here in Southern California. Orange County 77 tomorrow with mostly sunny skies. Full sunshine by Friday. And Saturday and Sunday we're talking upper 70s for the OC. It looks very nice. Lena, back to you. All right. Rich, thank you. It's